interesting experiment that shows how the brain reacts to sensory stimulation can be shown here on the oscilloscope. And this instrument can be used to detect the impulses that reach the brain from the sensory organ. Now this brain is resting and the pattern of response is smooth. But if the eyes are suddenly stimulated by a flashlight, we see a violent variation in the pattern. Now let's observe what happens when a sudden loud noise is heard. So, outside stimulation activates the brain. The screen's ready, Doctor. Thank you. We wonder how human beings would react in situations where there was a near absence of things happening. What happened to him? Well, in a way, nothing. Looks to me like he's been in an accident. No, this is an experiment that took place at McGill University. Students volunteered to participate in this study of human behavior under extreme and prolonged monotony. Their hands and arms were softly covered to muffle the sense of touch. All harsh lights subdued by a mask, comfortable beds, quiet. And yet, it was impossible for most of these students to take it for more than 24 or 48 hours. The psychologist D.O. Hebb and his associates, who conducted these experiments, found that deprived of ordinary, everyday sensory experiences, the subjects began to lose touch with reality. Those who stuck it out began to see things, hear things. Distortions set in, hallucinations. Some began to see dots of light, lines, simple geometric patterns. Then the patterns became distorted. Another described hallucinations of little yellow men with black caps with their mouths open. One said he saw the recurring vision of eyeglasses passing in a procession like an animated movie cartoon. As the time went on, these visions became more disturbing, unreal, often frightful. Deprived of normal sensory bombardment, the brain may cease to function in the usual way.